right now though we want to turn back the clock a little bit do you ever think that or think that uh, to go back to school and wonder you know what what would it be like if you if you actually did manage to go back maybe you regret certain things that you did and would like a do-over or maybe you just want to relive some of those memorable moments well we gave our very own Ilana that very opportunity and we sent her back to her alma mater take a look Now, it's been a while since I've donned my school blazer and walked through these gates as a student. And a lot has changed since I've been to high school. For one, I'm an expectant mother-to-be, and I'm a lot wiser, I would think. But what exactly has changed behind these doors? Paro High School was the result of an amalgamation between J.J. Dupria High School and Tigerberg Commercial High School in 1991, and Ilana remains a proud ambassador of the school. Back in the day when I was at school, I had biology, I had typing, accounting, and I had math. But I really wanted to do economics, so today I'm popping into an economics class to see what it's all about, and I'm a little late, so let's see how this goes down. Sorry, Mr. Stemmet, that I'm late. Ilana, your first day of school and you're already late five minutes. How do you want to pass economics? The definition of economics, you can still remember that, Ilana. Well, whether we're talking about inflation or the tomato markets, uh, economics is the social science of economic activity, whether we're talking about uh, production or distribution or even consumption within an economy. So your answer is 100% correct. Ilana gets an A plus for that awesome answer. Science is still a perennially popular subject, but this school has a few interesting residents in the life science class who make education fun for the learners. I think we should close this bit. That's a live snake, right? See, this used to be my science class. Back in the day, we didn't have live snakes or even animals in our class. We maybe had one or two test tubes. Technology plays a big role in modern education and where there were books, now there's a large computer literacy lab. When I used to be at school, this was not the computer literacy class. In fact, it was the library. So no more books, there's computers everywhere. And the time of chalkboards, well, we've definitely moved on. It's now an interactive whiteboard. The interactive whiteboard turns any surface into a touchscreen, making teaching interactive and engaging. After lessons, it's time for recess. What do you enjoy most about the school? Um, what I enjoy most about the school is my friends and the idea of getting to know new people and learning new things. And what's your favourite subject? Life science. It's, it's interesting. It's the subject where you learn the most things. What do you want to do after school? After school, I'd like to study sports science or either teaching. I was going to ask, what was your favourite part about being on Paraguay? Well, my favorite part about high school was spending some time with my friends and having my teachers around. I just want to know, what was your main motivation when you were at school and who did you look up to? I definitely looked up to my teachers. I wanted to be like my educators. What is the key to be as successful as you are today? Why ask for more things if you've got talent, if you've got a motivation to be at school, if you have the ability to learn? I always think that I need to work harder and work smarter. Africa, Braden, come. Can you please come to my office immediately? Thank you. Uh-oh, somebody got called up to the principal's office. Luckily for Ilana, there'll be no detention today from Mr. Langenwerfen. When I was in the school, there was about 750 learners. Now there's close to 1,200. We've grown up to 1,185 at this stage, and we're still busy enrolling because the department just wants us to enroll more and more learners every day, so we try our best to accommodate as many as we can. How do you motivate the students, keep them diligent? We tell them that they must still have dreams and they must always try to be the best they can be. And then role models are very, very important to our kids today. So Ilana, you are a role model for many of them, I'm sure. What do you think is that one thing that makes people want to come back to Para High School? The parents tell us it's because of the discipline. That's the first but they use the word discipline all the time and I'm sure you will know discipline is important, punctuality, they must be on time. All the things that's important to us at school, is we try and teach them that. I've had such a fulfilling day, and what are some of the things that I learned? Well, I know that learners still have the same potential and the desire to flourish like we all did back then. And Para High School is still the educational environment that I remember. So I guess I would just have to come back again and again.